Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toasty Bros. And today we're gonna to be reviewing a $500 Amazon PC that a company was nice enough to send over to us. A company called AirTech Gaming reached out to us and were like, hey, we sell this $500 PC on Amazon. We want you to take a look at it. And you know, we buy some very interesting, sometimes borderline very weird PCs from Amazon. But this one, you know, they claim is gonna be a good value and we're gonna find out. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Lexar and their NM800 Pro Gen 4 SSD along with their Ares DDR5 memory. First up, the NM800 Pro is a blazing fast Gen 4 SSD with read speeds up to 7,500 megabytes per second, making it great for gamers looking to speed up their PC and also content creators who demand blazing fast transfer speeds. Now their Ares DDR5 RAM kit features speeds up to 5200 megahertz and comes in an all black sleek design and capacity of up to 32 gigabytes, making it perfect for your next gen gaming PC build, especially the new AM5 coming out. To learn more about both of these awesome new products from Lexar, click the link in the description down below. A big thanks again to Lexar for sponsoring today's video. So in all honesty, AirTech seems to be a newer company to us, or at least in our eyes, because we have not heard of them just yet. And you know, we got an email and normally we wouldn't really review other pre-builds just because we do own PCBros.tech. So we kind of try to buy kind of weird pre-builds that aren't like directly competing, but they said this one's a really good bang for buck. And even for us, that's a pretty hard budget to compete with. $500 is usually gonna get you more of like a cheap pre-built that might not even have a graphics card. So I'm excited to see if they actually have some pretty good performance and good looks in this as well. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and just real quick, you know, at the time recording this video, I do wanna point out at PC Bros, you know, what we do have and we don't really have anything that's like exactly this price. So for $500 with prime shipping, you're getting a graphics card, you're getting a decent processor that's a little bit older granite and you're getting 16 gigs of RAM, decent storage. Now at PC Bros, the best thing we really have at the moment that's around that price is six, seven, 75 free shipping and it's an i3 10100 with 16 gigs of ddr4 of course it's an all new build i will say it's probably gonna be like a better overall look better case and everything but 175 more dollars and you only get an rx 460. i'm definitely curious to see how this one performs compared to that oh god i almost fell over god it's stuck in there i can't help i can't help all right that was good that was intense we just built in this case. Yeah, we definitely know this case pretty well. Sama. So it's not a bad, it kind of reminds me of like the Montech, uh, what's the one we always used to use, the Montech? The flyer? Kind of, flyer. It's kind of like the, the flyer, flyer, but with a little bigger has, RGB front. Yeah, it has a little RGB strip on the front. Um, usually not like a ton of fans or airflow or anything. Okay, so we do get, um, looks like USB Wi-Fi with it, which is the thing that we see a lot with um, pre built companies. We don't typically just include it. We actually, it'll be either built into the board or we charge extra for it. But we notice a lot of companies always include Wi-Fi, which is kind of cool. I guess with Amazon, um, you kind of have to, because you can't really do the alternate yeah, options. Yeah, and a lot of people aren't really, you know, the greatest at checking to see like, oh, how does it hook up to the internet? They just assume everything comes with Wi-Fi. Okay, instructions that are pretty decent. We've got our starter guide. There's their little logo and everything. And then they give us this so basically just saying if you have any question we respond within one to two hours i wonder if that's even like off business hours so they might actually have like a decent tech support and everything let's test them <laughs> yeah let's test them and so here's actually all of our specs written down here so we're supposed to have a 3470 which is a third gen i5 four core four thread and rx 460 so funny enough the same graphics card that our system has 16 gigs of ddr3 of course 512 gig ssd rgb lighting so this is actually kind of a fun comparison now because i didn't realize this actually has the same card supposedly so for 175 more you're basically getting all new parts with our build and you get a one-year warranty of course i'm not really too sure what their warranty policy is but we'll check it's probably it Am it's amazon at least so you have that going for you that was a shock that was a shock but the packaging looks pretty good made it in one piece so always excited to see that i'm curious if they add any more fans because there is always there's one argb fan in the back they yeah. might not have added any up front no don't look like it they might not you know i mean and that's somewhat understandable i mean because at the end of the day like got a little oh oh do we have damage oh. Oh man, we got some shipping damage. That's a little unfortunate. So I am gonna give them the benefit of the doubt here. I mean, they, they wouldn't have shipped out a computer like this, like no pre book company would. So I will say that this is the type of thing that probably a lot of customers would see if it was, you know, our company or any company and they'd either want a refund or they'd say, hey, it works. Can I get a little bit of money back? Or can you maybe send me something just to make me feel better? I mean, cosmetics so far, not terrible, but it does suck. I mean, it happens in shipping, sadly. It was double box too, although it wasn't- It wasn't double padded. Yeah. It was not double padded. That's something that we have found we like had to do because if you don't double pad, this is kind of like a guaranteed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, panels off and then I'll actually just try to turn it on. I just wanna make sure there's nothing like in here that's loose or anything. The good news is our glass is in one piece. That's always an unfortunate thing when you get some shattered glass because that's just a mess. Um, but the motherboard's being held in. This is an interesting board too. This is giving me like um, 
kind of like AliExpress. AliExpress kind of new board vibes. Yeah, but it looks like it is a full 16x lane in the bottom. I don't know if it's physically running at 16x. Um, we do have our RAM. This is a little bit, a little bit sketch right there, where you got this dim that's coming out. And let's see if I can actually see it. Yeah, yeah so they actually out. did see it. So. Could have happened in shipping, but it also could have happened before it left. Um, looks like pretty standard, like power connectors. They are going to be a little bit weird because they're on the side of the board. 460, these are the same ones we same use, Same OEM actually. ones. They're basically like OEM Lenovo and HP ones that get taken out of systems. Power supply is definitely interesting. It's a Yen Radian, and it's 80 plus white. Whenever it doesn't say anything or it had a color, it's just white. And I would not be surprised if it's not truly 80 plus white, but it could be. It actually has this on the back, too. Tail management is definitely minimal. Um, with this a case, case is like, hard. It is. With a case like this, if you bunch the cables together, you can't get the side panel to close. So, you know, I get it for the most part. I think our screw actually might have fallen out of this SSD. I can't even get it to move. So I wonder if the case got like freaking bent or something. Yeah, I mean, I can't even move the SSD. It's only been held in with one screw, but it is kind of sideways. But it actually comes with an ARGB um, hub, which is kind of cool for a cheap case like this. Now that we've kind of looked at the outside, like I said, I mean, this isn't terrible. I mean, realistically, you could just do that. Yeah, I mean, this is such cheap metal. You can bend it with your freaking fingers and probably get everything back to normal. But you know, the main concern for most gamers is does it work? You know, a lot of them don't really care about aesthetics with a build this cheap. They just want to know like, can it game? Can it work? So I like that the fan back here has like a horse on it. It says eSport. <laughs> it's an eSport fan. It's an eSport. Oh, one thing I want to point out too is this SSD is a Levin SSD, which is not exactly like a name brand, but they're not a bad brand. We've ordered them plenty of times off Amazon. They're like a Amazon special. So, so far, I mean, everything. Oh, and then this is their own brand. They actually have their yeah. own branded cool Cooler. Um, I feel like they would have been better off not using that and getting a slightly better okay. CPU maybe. Yeah, it has a, it has a bracket. At first I was like, yeah, look at the, the yeah, movement, it but it's on a bracket, so it should be fine. Yeah, the, I would have almost gone stock cooler and spent, you know. <laughs> it is crazy with the RGB though. <laughs> spent money elsewhere, but yeah, it does look good. So, I mean, you know, they got that going for them. Our RGB power supply down here is definitely interesting. I mean, cause there's really no basement to be able, even be able to see it. You can slightly see like an underglow here and that's about it. I do see one issue. The front is supposed to glow and it is not glowing. I I did see... Was there an ARGB header unplugged? Um, there was an ARGB header. I thought maybe it was the one that actually went to the... What do you call it? Like, yeah, I think I think it's the one that comes off the hub. Um, okay, mystery here. We got a mystery on our hand, gang. Yeah, I'm so I, don't, I think they forgot to plug it in, so... Okay, I mean, if the computer works, we got that going for us, but so far in terms of... Uh, their luck on like the package showing up safely and everything. Um, it's not the greatest. I mean, I do kind of appreciate that we did get like, I'm almost gonna say we didn't get pamper. We didn't get special treatment because I know sometimes these companies will, they know they're sending it to a video um, production company like us. And they're like, oh, well, let's, let's make this one really good, right? I do feel like they literally just pulled an Amazon off the shelf and sent it. But does that mean that's gonna be good for the customer? It's hard to say. I mean, we gotta look at the reviews, kind of see what other people think. I don't know if this has a lot of reviews yet though. So we're gonna go ahead though, um, now that we all the RGB working. I think we're looking good. So it's on a, its own, it looks like. Yeah, yeah it's on like a demo mode. <laughs> yeah, and then this right here is probably not like true. Actually, wait. It happen? was at the start, oh, yeah, it but is. it's on a demo mode or something. Woo! Nice. Got RGB. So we're looking pretty decent. Um, got this to go up top here. And um, like I said, I mean, we can fix this dent in the back. Not a big deal for us. But now the real question is does it actually display out with Windows and everything? Let's find out. All right, guys, I can't even wait for Matt to sit down because we're in a Hi. gun run. We're low of low settings 1080p right now. You know, we're playing gun run, so there's going to be a lot of action going on, and we're definitely going to see some probably pretty big spikes, and FPS-wise, look pretty decent. You know, we're maintaining a little above 60. Um, the main thing you're going to notice is, like, the latency, or at least that's what I can really feel, um, is that, like, everything I'm doing is just a little bit behind. You know, it's not as fast and updating as quickly as I would like it to, but you know what? That's okay. All right, guys, we are now in Fortnite, which is definitely a game I feel like people are buying this kind of PC for from Amazon. Uh, performance settings, medium view distance, medium textures, download high res textures are off. That was a comment somebody left that it does impact performance a good amount, so we're just gonna give that a shot. And um, yeah, it's so far a, a kind of a stuttery mess. When you're rocking second and third gen Intel stuff, it can be like that. Um, I also did get a warning that the driver version that was on this thing um, is known to have some slight issues with this version of Fortnite. So 
Again, another issue with these like Amazon shipped PCs, a lot of them are made, then shipped to Amazon, then they sit in Amazon warehouses, so they're probably not the latest and greatest ship to order ready to go. So that's just something where you just have to note update your drivers and it depends if you buy this with some PC knowledge, you may not know to do that and you might encounter little laggy issues like this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It's OP, it's OP. You won't throw, you won't throw. Oh, he, he bounced away, he's scared. Oh, oh, he's coming in. Ah! Oh my god, he can build. He can build. Ah! He can build. Ah! Keep duking him. Get good! Ah! Oh, he's gonna go to Mary! Oh! <laughs> he outgooped me! That was a real person uh, right there. That was a real person. It looked very scary when I whipped out the, the goop gun. You have to know how to use it. But yeah, <laughs> decently playable Fortnite experience. You're at least getting 60 FPS. There are stutters here and there, but if you find guys like this, they gonna take you out for sure. Um, now the last game we're gonna play is Rocky League, and that's a game that obviously should run pretty fine on this as long as everything is working properly. And then we're gonna run some built-in benchmarks to show you how the rest of this PC performs. All right guys, we're playing some Rocky League. We did have a little bit of a, a miss. <laughs> A wow, mishap there. that was a mishap. Um, so the reason I'm I'm already two and owed is like we were plugged into the top ports and which should be USB two, and they're either not plugged in or it just I don't know they weren't working. Neither one of them were working, so we're plugged in the back now. And obviously, I think working. I see the problem. It's not plugged in. It's plugged into a debug port. It's not a USB <laughs> port. That he just scored. I, at least that's what it looks like. I mean, I don't know if that just has the same pin layout as USB, but there is a header plugged into a debug COM port. Huh. So I don't know. I'm the, getting absolutely destroyed. Destroyed right by this guy. <laughs> oh no! Loser. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. He gave you the the assist. Oh my god. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Get bumped, loser. God, he just get me out bumped! Of the way. Oh, he just—he <laughs> heard you. He heard you say that. He bumped you. I hate one v ones, dude. I don't know how you play these. Oh my god! <laughs> keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, well, oh. that was Rocky League. We got absolutely stomped. But you know what? Yeah, there's some weird things going on, on this computer. A lot of weird things. A lot of mistakes that I don't know if it's just new PC builder like mistakes or what. Uh, but there's a lot of things that we've learned to PC bros over time that you just don't make those mistakes. And uh, we'll have to dive into that at the end of the video. But we'll run some built-in benchmarks and then get to the video ending. Yeah. All right guys, so we just got done benchmarking this PC and we were at least able to do that. But just to go over the things that I can remember that were wrong with this PC is one, we had a ARGB header that was not plugged in from the actual shipper. So we didn't have front lighting, we fixed that. Our USB 2 is actually plugged into a, um, it's called a, debug con port and there's actually USB port right next to it that it should have been plugged into. So our front USB does not work, which is kind of sucky. 
I don't even think it has HDR. <laughs> oh, it does. It does. Okay. It, you know, we don't like to be that <laughs> that channel that just harps really hard on companies like this because I know it's difficult to start a PC business and to do stuff like this, but I really think your problems would be solved if you just didn't use this motherboard. A lot of the problems do circle back to that. Like you don't have a USB 3 header. It only has 100 megabit networking. You don't even have gigabit. Um, I mean, it's really going to hold you back. So I would recommend just getting a different motherboard that has better features. I think it's just a very bare bone board that's just not great for this use case. Yeah, and I almost hate to say it, but like, you know, we tried to do a lot of these. When we started PC Bros and there were shortages, we were buying these like second, third, fourth gen boards and like i5s and i7s and 1050 Ti's at the time. And sometimes the 460s and you know, we did have a good amount of problems and we realized it's just not worth it. It's better to keep the OEM stuff inside of OEM systems. So we sell a lot of Dell Optiplexes and HPs and stuff. They work great in those because everything's proprietary. It's designed to work with it. When you start putting them in these custom cases, you run into a lot of weird issues like a lot of the ones we saw here that just make it not really worth it. So that's why we really like our i3-10100 with the brand new board. It's all new parts and we never have problems. So if you'd end up buying one of these PCs, your experience could be totally different. You might find that's really good. Their customer support could be amazing too. We didn't really test any of that, so we're not really sure. But just in terms of our review here, we can definitely say this PC was a little scary and definitely I would not buy it again personally, but hey, you guys might have some better luck. Yeah, if you wanna look at this listing, check the link down below. You can learn more about it and see what else they sell on their website. But yeah, overall, I take this as a first PC experience from a newer pre-built company and there's definitely areas that could be worked on, whether it's the mainly quality control, to be honest, and some optimization of the parts, but you know, it arrived in one piece and well, partially one Mostly piece. Mostly one piece. Mostly one piece and we were able to play some games, so at least yeah. has got that going for it. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other T YouTube channels and also our twist.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't ask why I'm laughing. You have no idea why he's laughing. See you guys in the next one and goodbye. Exactly. So after a little bit of fixing, because we're gonna have to go through, we're gonna have to just basically make sure everything's good in this PC, plug in everything properly, and then sell it for a pretty discounted price over at PC Bros. PC Bros. Tags, where you sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more, and you can, you, you use code ToastyBros to watch it. I'm saying, dude, friend, we're really having a hard day here today, ladies and gentlemen. See you guys later, goodbye. Peace out.